I just want to reset our properties back to the way we worked with our earlier version of Ben, which I saved earlier. So I'm just going to click on Ben, reset Ben to set us back way back to the way we were before, where our properties was set anchored inside of our um, panel. And look how easy it was. So whenever we want to drag it out, we just drag it out and we just reset back to our a previous saved version. And notice how when I saved it, I just overrid Ben and I just saved it, created a new workspace and just named it in the same way. So if you ever change your workspace and you want it to, sa to save that change again, just write that name again. Okay, so let's look into our published settings. And again, the differences between the versions of Flash are really not that big, so it's quite easy to maneuver and figure it out. And as you saw a moment ago from our published settings, we could have jumped into our uh, published settings. But what we want to do is let's go to the route of going through our file publish settings. By going through file publish settings, we're going to get into our publish settings as well. And clicking it that way, we'll see first of all that we have your three different tabs. We have here the HTML tab, the Flash tab, and the Formats tab. Let's toggle back into the Formats tab for a second here. And as we go into the Formats tab, you're going to see by default the file the two file types that are going to be outputted when we click on our publish or when we go and it just cancel and we click on our file publish it would generate those two files now where are they going to be positioned by default back to our formats they're going to be positioned exactly in the same place where our FLA is now we don't really want that and they're the best way to do it, I never really go into the select publish destination because when you do that, it's going to hard code a full path, which makes it really hard to then make your application more mobile. So you could send your FLA and have multiple people working on it more easily. Instead of going through that path, what I like doing is just working with directly p putting here a uh, kind of Unix type of, of um, relative pathing. And it's quite easy. The way you relative path, it, there's just two rules here. One is when you want to refer to the previous directory to go one directory back, you would type dot dot and your two directories back. And then you'd have a slash just the same as you would do on the web, the same type of slash. And then you could write another folder. So if we wanted to go into the deploy folder now, then we could set the deploy folder, set a path, and now our file set is going to go into the one folder back, into the deploy folder, which is the way we're working on our samples that we've seen earlier, that we could, we're going to open them up in a second now. But before, we're not even going to save this file, but before we go and do that, let's look at a few more properties that are important to know related to our formats. One is that we have your other options, which we could publish to, which we're not going to dig into but you're more than welcome to play around with them, such as creating a Windows projector file or creating a Microsoft, or sorry, a Macintosh projector file. I'm sure I just made people shocked and awe, or well, in shock that I called something of Macintosh, um, Microsoft by mistake. Okay, but let's look at the two p tabs. So if I if I deselect my HTML, then my tab for HTML is going to be removed. Not everything really as, I, as you can see, as I'm adding, some things don't have, as you can see, my Windows projector and my Macintosh projector don't have extra properties which we could change in our published settings. But many do. And we can see that uh, our HTML does, our Flash does, and so do the other items. But we're going to focus really on our Flash. We're not even going to look into the HTML wrapper because it's not the topic right now. So if we click on to our Flash properties, let's see what our properties are. And we're really just going to run through them really, really um, quickly. We could see one is that the Flash player that we're running. And we could see in our Flash player, they're running on 10, which is the latest version to date of making this video. And we could have made it run for Flash Player 9. That's still ActionScript 3, which is fine. We could have made it 8, but if we would made it 8, it would automatically move down to ActionScript 2 because Flash Player 8 didn't support ActionScript 3. So we know that we could we have to work on Flash Player 9 or up. But I'm just going to leave it on the default for my CS5, which is Flash Player 10 and ActionScript 3. Now, we're not going to dig too much. We're not going to dig at all into the image and sound properties, which are kind of a topic that's going to we're going to break into a different content, which is not related to our programming right now. But really just in really, really quickly saying is here we could set 
global configurations for files that are visual, you know, images and sounds, such as their compression quality, their audio stream format, and so on. And we're not going to dig into it. In our Swift settings, we're not going to dig into that as well right now, but we, as we progress and work with ActionScript, we will start playing around and tinkering with these things. But the, these relate to, do we want to compress the movie? Yeah, we always want to compress it. Do we want to include hidden layers? We definitely do. And you want to work with your defaults. And what we want, all I'm really requesting is we're not going to dig into all these different options here right now. But what you want to do is make sure that your current profile is the default. Now, if you've changed things around, as most other panels, you would probably have a way to, if you want to change, you want to change your, your default. So let's see if we change things around. If I change it, uh, change all of that. And now my default isn't really the default, right? We don't want to create a new profi profile. If we would like the way we set it here, then we could create a new profile, but we don't really want to create a new profile. No, no, no. We want to duplicate. Not really. Do we want to profile, add a profile name? Nope. But if I click on OK now, and then I go back into my properties, publish settings, we're going to see we're still in default, but our default properties are not really configured correctly. And I don't know why there isn't a button here, but you would think that there would be a button to reset back, which are, maybe it's just me, but where is it? How do we go back to default again? Well, let's then, uh, <laughs> let's just revert back. So what, it, what I've done is I deselected these three babies. So what you want to make sure is when you're running your flash, just really run down, flash pair nine or up, you're running action script three. We don't really care about anything here. We want to make sure that our Swift setting is all the three first items, compressed movie, include hidden layers, include XMP metadata. If you don't have it, then don't select it. But if it's there, select it. In your advanced settings, you want to make sure that nothing is selected. Okay. So that is basically our published settings, which all these configurations are going to enable us to generate our applications and create specifications if we wanted to run for different players, such as flashlight or the iPhone if we're running on CS5. Although we seems like uh, from reading the blogs is that it's not really going to be useful for us, unfortunately, because Apple doesn't want us to use it. <laughs> and the last touch up, last item I want to talk about is as we saw inside of it, I'm just going to cancel this out. Well, I'm going to click OK because we changed it earlier. If we go on into our properties again. We're going to see our class, which we said is going to be our next topic. This is where our programming life begins. If you want to find your class definition, you could always click on action script settings, right? But Or you could go into your file, publish settings, make sure you're in flash, and then when you're ver next to your action script setting, you're just going to click on action script settings, which will take you to that same document class. And we're not going to, again, go into all these details. Only thing we want to make sure is that we have our defaults all set to work the same way. So as we're working, we'll get the same type of errors. So we want to make sure that we're in strict mode and warning mode and automatically declare stage in instances. Just let's leave everything the default way as Flash has it configured 